नमस्कार सेमी कंडक्टर्स इज एन क्रिटिकल एंड एमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडिया हैज बीन रिएक्टिंग टू दिस नीड बाय अनाउंसिंग द इंडियन सेमी कंडक्टर मिशन एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स विच आर द ब्रेन बिहाइंड एनी डिजिटल सिस्टम विच आर द प्रोग्रामेबल एंटिटीज ऑफ दिस डिजिटल सिस्टम्स the ministry of electronic and information technology has announced the digital india risk 5 derivy effort friends this qui is an open source instruction set architecture and there are more than 1000 members in this risk fee consortium developing customizable microprocessors the need of the art today is not just one general purpose microprocessor but a family of microprocessors that can go on to very small embedded devices to iot's to iiot's the industrial iot's to other medium scale embedded systems laptops desktops mobile phones all the way up to high end data servers and high end Uh, web servers etc so there is a need for what we term as the domain specific architecture friends i am very happy to present to you today yet another successful shakti chip that was jointly developed with the indian space research organization isro the specific lab of isro that was involved was the isro inertial space unit the iasu located at tiruvananthapuram this successful booting up up of the silicon which was completely conceived manufactured and the entire system developed in india is yet another demonstration of atmanirbharta in semiconductor manufacturing specifically in the manufacturing of micropro so this is a complete make in india effort as you see the specification and the funding was provided by the iisu tiruvannandapuram in kerala the complete design and verification including physical design was done at iit madras the asic tape out was done at semiconductor laboratory chandigarh in using 180 nanometers then the packaging of the same was done in tata advanced system at pajjanahalli karnataka this was a ball grid array uh, packaging the pcb motherboard was designed at iit madras the fabrication of the pcb happened at pcb power gujarat and then the motherboard was assembled at sirma a company in chennai the entire software was designed at iit madras and the system was successfully booted at iit madras so this is the iris lv chip for you which is a demonstration of the existence of a complete ecosystem from conceiving a project from its specification to actually realizing a system along with motherboard and booting and all this happening within our country these are all the stakeholders in this ecosystem has made this project extremely successful i'll take some more time to explain some of the technical features of this particular system on chip so this is a c class variant which is a 64 bit uh, architecture we have some some amount of tightly coupled memory we are working on a 180 nanometer there is a 256 kilobyte tightly coupled memory and with it's a fault tolerant primary it has the error correction uh, code the ecc is implemented here then it has lot of peripherals including pwms uarts sspis cspis it has a uh, gp timer general purpose timer plus gpios and then it also has a uh, external memory plus all the standard debugger interface so as far as uh, as as the chip is concerned the number of peripherals and external interfaces are 
equal to what we see in typically commercial chips used for typical applications outside. So the chip is an aerospace quality chip and we are very confident that this is a good quality chip where people can start developing and start experimenting and also start making prototypes. The, as in other commercially available chips, this has multiple boot modes. You can boot it through a debug mode, you can boot it through an external memory booting. We also have the SPI flash RAM booting and also the UART booting and all these bootings are working successfully. Now I'll go into the specific of the microprocessor. The C class is a 5 stage 64 bit in order core. The microprocessor internally has a 16 kilobyte instruction cache and a 16 kilobyte data cache which is 4 way set associative. And it has a pretty large set of RISC-V instructions and a programmable clock frequency which can go all the way from 120 megahertz to 4 megahertz. It also has the standard AXI4, AXI4 light interface and a JTAG based debugger support. So this is the package chip that you see here with a ball grid array. We also developed this evaluation board at IIT Madras. This evaluation board actually has brought out all the pins so that any development, any verification can happen here. It also has a concept of what we call as pin mux, using which multiple different peripherals can be attached to the same external interface by, by programming this uh, pin mux. So the evaluation board has a system clock that is programmable using I2C. And as I told, all the pins are exposed, so you can do major developments here. And then the PINMUX support ensures that this is Arduino compatible. Many of the Arduino compatible boards can be actually connected and many projects can be uh, uh, done. So this evaluation board was funded by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India, under the DIRVI funding. Now, we will just show the booting of the system, the Hello World and also some very interesting demonstrations. I am very thankful to both ISRO and Semiconductor Laboratory Chandigarh. I am thankful to the Chairman ISRO, Dr. Narayanan and Sri Padma Kumar, who is the Director of IISU. Uh, for enabling this partnership, wherein a lot of inputs had come from ISRO to make this aerospace quality. And I'm very happy to note that ISRO will be using this in many of their coming projects. I'm also thankful to Sri Kamaljit Singh, Director General of SEL Chandigarh. SEL has been uh, of a great support to the Sakti project. This is the third successful chip that has come out of them. The Remo in 2018, followed by the uh, Moshik in 2020 and the Iris LV now in 2025. I'm very confident that we can work together to make many more wonderful chips for our country. Friends, what makes us very happy today is that the entire ecosystem for developing a semiconductor chip right from its idea specification to the final system or motherboard exists in our country and we have demonstrated it and this is of commercial quality and this Atman Nirbhartha makes us very very happy. We have been uh, talking to multiple agencies uh, regarding usage of Shakti, specifically in some of our very big programs of our country, including the, uh, including the ISRO. And at that point, uh, IIT Madras has the ISRO cell, which has been there for quite some time. Uh, and, uh, and we had been uh, having a lot of collaborations with multiple laboratories of ISRO. At that point of time, the IASU approached and asked us that if we could make a controller, uh, specifically a microprocessor that is programmable and do many of those activities. And that's how uh, we started this interaction. 
and when we evaluated uh, Shakti, we found that it can suit many of their needs and then that's how we came out first with an FPGA prototype and then we were convinced about the functionalities and then we went ahead and make a chip out of it. The Shakti microprocessor program has been conceived basically to bring in Atmanirbhartha in microprocessor design so that our own startups can make different domain specific architectures, our own agencies can make certain customized processors that will suit their specific needs. Today, a general purpose processor is not the one that is going to be of use, major use, in the sense that every domain has their own requirement, their own set of peripheral interfaces, their, their different needs. For example, how many peripherals they connect to a particular system is extremely domain dependent. So one of the most leading topics today is domain specific architecture and keeping this mind, keeping this in mind, that is why architecture has been evolved and what we have done is yet another uh, chip in the family of Shakti, in the family of RISPHI processors in our country that can suit a domain like today space. So we have developed an aerospace quality chip. So the challenges uh, for any microprocessor development is of course that uh, uh, you know we need good design engineers because this the chip, even though we are making a in-code processor chip, uh, they have multiple clock domains, we have multiple set of peripherals, the verification need to be done. And all these things we achieved in an institution, this commercial quality uh, tape out was done. And that, to bring it to that commercial quality is what is one of the first challenges. The second challenge was availability of packaging here inside the country, we wanted to do it everything within the country. So, so far we had, uh, you know, accessible packages, which we call it as QFN, which will be the pins will be on the edge of the chip. But this time we have the ball grid array, uh, which is on the bottom of the chip, the pins can be taken out. And thanks to the Tata facility that had come up in Karnataka, where we were able to get this, uh, this chip package there and that was one challenge and other things were uh, uh, sort of uh, the PCB uh, manufact design and manufacturing of the PCB then assembling and all these things being done inside the country and once the uh, assembled uh, uh, the fully assembled board came with a matter of uh, a couple of hours we were able to bring the chip up and that is also a very uh, that gave us sort of confidence in making uh, this type of complex chips in the country. The main uh, issue here is that there are, as I explained in the uh, in the presentation, there are five major steps. One is, uh, you know, the design, the physical design, then the manufacturing, then the packaging, making of the board, assembly of the board, and then of course software. What we have demonstrated is all of this is done within our shows. So this essentially gives a confidence that we have the complete ecosystem available in the country. What many people would say that we have still worked on 180 nanometer, we've got a 120 megahertz chip. But the point is that as as we have done the design, so if the if the new fabs come, which we are anticipating in the near future, where we are looking at a 28 nanometer and probably much lesser also, as they come. It is only a matter of us changing the physical design kit and basically taking to that fab. The entire process can still follow. The process exists, the experience, people exist. We have also demonstrated students who have participated, multiple students have participated, multiple agencies have collaborated. So we have this ecosystem and the willingness to do something together completely inside India. And that is what we are actually focusing in this particular demonstration. And of course, this is an aerospace quality chip and I'm sure it is going to be, uh, it will test the uh, commercial requirements successfully.